Good evening. I was contacted by John again from Western Kentucky. We've been emailing back and forth about Dogman and Bigfoot activity on his property. And uh, he's the one who sent me the pictures a few weeks ago that I made a video about the uh, horrific and strange deer kill on his property. And he sent me some more pictures along with some explanation. Here's the explanation. Matt, I didn't think about it or put two and two together, but there was another deer last year about the same time of year early in the morning and it was attacked in the exact same spot. This deer was still barely alive, bawling from pain, and I put it out of its misery. I chalked it up to a dog attack, but there are no dogs in the area. I think this might be a link to the dog man this year. Maybe my place is a hunting spot as the dog man passes through the region. Here are some pictures of the deer in the exact spot. So from this email, he also shared a few more things with me. We're emailing back and forth. And uh, here's another section of the email that really stuck out to me. Um, when I looked at the date of the deer attack in these pictures, I started shaking. I felt something watching me last year while dispatching that deer. And when I searched for the dog, I never found any dogs that day. And I watched the deer for two days with my rifle to see if any dogs would come back for that deer. Nothing touched it. I dragged the deer away from the pond. I have a really bad buzzer problem, but with these two deers, the buzzards will not touch them. They are afraid of the deer carcass. And that's really striking to me that if the buzzards won't even go for it, that it has a scent or something nearby is watching it. And, and that's really just quite startling to me to think that the uh, scavengers won't even go after it. Here's the first picture of the deer. I don't know if this was before or after he put it down. You can see that it's a small forked horn, so it's a buck. And uh, it has a pretty gnarly gash on its back hind quarters. And that's pretty typical of coyotes and other creatures that kind of nip at the button heels. And you can also see some claw marks on its side or teeth marks. You can see this is the exact same pond and to have it be almost to the day, uh, the exact same day, and to have the feeling of something watching it, the buzzards not wanting to come in and take part of this carcass. The fact that it was still alive and to be a relatively looking healthy deer um, is quite scary to me. Whatever took this out, it almost like it did it for sport or like a surplus killing. You can see on the right there, there's some kind of a scratch or claw mark. I don't think those are teeth because teeth don't really scratch or cut like that. They more or less pierce. So I wonder if that's where a paw or a claw, you know, something was trying to get a hold of it and hold it down while it lashed open the back. And now I know the lashing open the back is kind of more of a dog thing, but the claw mark makes me think of more of like a mountain lion or a cat or something like that. But then again, they typically go for the neck. And there are instances of mountain lion surplus killing. But to be completely honest with you guys, the encounters that John has shared with me with Dogman and Bigfoot on his property, physically seeing them and having problems with these things, this was no natural predator that did this, and I 100% believe him. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You all stay safe out there, take care of each other, and um, have a good holiday season, folks.